Atlanta United Fan TV, 2-0 win. Pretty comprehensive uh, in one sense. It's against a depleted team, though, uh, so there is that. But still, we had chances galore, and we looked pretty dangerous on the break. Yeah, I was about to say, no Mavinga, no Altidore, but we still, you know, acted like they were on the field. And uh, the first thing I said after uh, Tito, Tito scored his first goal was, I'm guessing while Tata was in town, Frank had a conversation with him yeah. about something. But uh, we're definitely looking almost like the Atlanta United of old from last season. Um, I would say more or less starting off 2017 season, uh, where we're still trying to figure out some things, but we're getting our counterattack and, you know, fighting for the ball and mm -hmm. pressing goals. Yeah. Uh, now, I mean, Tito, uh, I think, kind of made a difference early on, and I think kind of the identity kind of melded into what he uh, was kind of doing. Uh, a lot of uh, through balls, a lot of uh, hitting on the counter. Like, do you think the same? Was it kind of more played to like what Tito was doing? I think we, we, we played to comfort Tito because we know how good he is. And I think Frank is starting to realize that. So while Barco is gone, it's, it's a big hit, obviously, without the season that he's having. But um, Tito's feeling in really good and he's showing that he doesn't want to go anywhere. He still loves his team, no matter where you put him. And um, I know a lot. Of, I know I brought up Tito, but I got I got to bring up PT because the fans are starting to get behind him, and he's starting to show his passion and who why we paid for him. He's really doing really. He did really good tonight. Yep. You know his free kicks, fr fucking beamers. Like I I could not believe you know the amount of precision and you know overall play style that he brought to the team tonight, and it really contributed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's very, really great to see, uh, you know, people applauding P.T. Martinez even after a missed shot, but it was, yeah, everybody was all together applauding him. Uh, what, what do you think the difference is? Um, just an overall, it looks like a more positive morale in the team because we're starting to see something that can hopefully push us forward in the season and we want to keep pushing forward that uh, towards that. So I think the morale is, you know, brought up immensely and we're starting to feel confident in ourselves as a team. Uh, so... Orlando City coming up, it's going to be uh, very interesting because, yeah, they seemingly are in good form, uh, but now we have surpassed them, at least for tonight. Uh, how do you think it's going to go on Sunday? Oh, Justin Miriam hat trick, and he does this. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> it's going to be a tough game. Um, you know, they're obviously showing that they actually have some decent plays, obviously, saying that for Orlando hurts me a lot. But um, obviously picking up Nani was a good thing for them. He's definitely brought up a positive morale on their team. But, um, you know, it's 90 minutes. It's underpredictable. We just got to play our game, and uh, hopefully we'll come out on top. Atlanta!